Tom, Mr. Hunt. Yeah, it's Paul A. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel for the uh, third round of the V8 Veterans from Phillip Island this week for the track guide. Um, so running at a 52.4% brake guys this week, first lap out after the outlap as usual, left foot braking for anyone that doesn't know. Um, I think that's really all I have to say about the setup side of things, I suppose you'd call it. Um, my lap this week, really happy with the lap this week, I uh, did it last night, 128 flat basically. Uh, fastest time I've ever done around here, so really happy with that. And surprisingly to myself, um, I reckon I could probably possibly get another 10th off that, so it probably goes sub-128. So really, really happy with that one. Um, probably the only thing I noticed different that I'm doing, uh, did last night in comparison to uh, previous seasons, was it just felt a lot more aggressive. Like I'm trying to brake a lot later, um, just... Braking later, but keeping that car the car stable. It's not braking too late that the car's getting unstable, but not braking too early that it just feels like you're going slow through the corner. Uh, and then just making sure that I'm always on the gas mid corner of of course, and then really getting hard on the gas on the way out. Um, and of course, this is for a, a quality lap. You know, um, obviously taper it off a little bit more for the race, but uh, probably the only tip I can give you guys. Well, that's what it felt like to me. So yeah, one twenty eight there for the time. I'll um. Drop that down and just get into it. All right, so coming down the main straight here, guys, uh, all the way up in the sixth gear, as everyone knows. Uh, trailing off, so that you want to be off all the way to the left-hand side of the track here, uh, just to use all of the track. But coming down here, there's not really a brake marker. Um, so you've got your 100 board on the right here and this white line. So I'm sort of looking at that white line going past, and just for muscle memory, basically, it's roughly from here. You're looking about there. It's about halfway in the, in the middle. It's about in the middle of, yeah, that bit and the end of the curb there. So you just got to look at it in your head and go, okay, that's about right. It just It's just for feel. That's really all I'm going by. So sticking all the way to the left-hand side of the, the uh, track here, guys, I'm up in the sixth gear. So once I hit my braking point, um, off the accelerator, but already tapering the car off to the right-hand side of the track, they're aiming for the corner. And as I do that, though, off turning and then shifting down to fifth, um, just to wash off that speed coming across and you want to I'll just speed it up a little bit so you're coming down so you get on the brakes about there so it's just under half on the brakes but um, as you start trailing off you're back to fifth you want to come around not here you don't want to hit in here you want to come right around try to get more of a later entrance into the corner coming across coming across starting to trail off your brakes and then as you're hitting the curb getting back on the gas that's what I was talking about earlier um, making sure you're getting back on the gas quite early not really rolling there uh not doing anything you know not on the brakes not on the accelerator you want to get back on the um gas as soon as possible um and then just get yourself a really good run out of the, uh, that first corner uh for maximum time <laughs> so coming out of that first corner guys drifting all the way across to the left there as you can see um I noticed a lot of people, including myself in previous seasons coming all the way out here and then they come all the way back here and then trying to trail off into the into the corner it definitely does work um i just find it for me uh it's a long route to get the job done basically so i'm in this in this uh this lap that i did here i've come out of the first corner and i'm just using all the track coming out getting the car completely straight and then once again breaking in a straight line so coming out of there in fifth um using all the track uh, as you can see not trailing back over to here keeping it in a straight line about half car length out from the left side curb and then just getting that braking done in a straight line back to fourth back to third um and then yeah getting all my braking done um i'm back to fourth here and then i think i go back to third about here you'll see in the uh real time uh replay that i did earlier um and then coming into uh the second corner here i just 
want to show you this bit. So I'm trailing off, trailing off, starting to trail off the break, as you can see there. It comes in, comes in, starts coming in here. Where is it? Trying to find it. Part of the corner, so it, it cruises around here. I don't want to drag it out too much. But it comes around, if you really pay attention, the, the corner's got like a linear curve to it. Like it just, it's got the same curve. And then at a point, I think it's about there, it, it just tightens that little bit. So I'm coming across, trying to keep it nice and tight on the left here in third gear, coming around. And then as you hit that, you're sort of trailing out about half to a car length out of the corner. But you're still sort of just managing that brake just so that you can bring the front end or the arse end around just to, to get it at that angle. So And then getting back on the gas quite hard to bring the arse end around to get that really good run out of the corner, if that makes sense. A lot of words there without a lot of meaning, but <laughs> hopefully it uh, made sense. But um. So you'll see here, I start trailing out. It's just, there's like a little, a tiny little uh, kink there. But yeah, starting to trail out here, about mid corner, getting out here, just touching that brake to bring the car, like the nose around where I want it. And then getting back on the gas, you'll feel the RCN start to come back around and it really turns it properly to get a good run out of the corner. Uh, so I'm looking to come back across here to the curb. You probably could have come back across a little bit later, but keeping it nice and tight here on the gas, as you can see, only half throttle there, looking around, coming around, coming around, looking for this end part of the curb. Once I see that, about two or three car lengths, I start getting back on the gas. So you don't want to tromp your foot coming out of here, but you do want to get on it quite hard, but just enough to keep the grip there you don't want to be drifting sideways across the track you want to be going forward so just keep that one in mind guys and then coming out of there uh in third shifting fourth using all of the track try not to go wide there onto the dirt you will lose yourself some time so coming down this little back part here pretty straightforward this uh next one i will have a chat through it so i i stay right out here try to get a late entrance as usual uh, on most of the corners that I do. So coming across, it does actually, have a look at the replay there, it does look like I come in quite early. So I do keep it out a little bit later than that, just so that it sets it up. So you're coming around and then you can keep the car all the way over to the left here uh, without, you know, losing control or uh, becoming unstable. So coming around, uh, that little kink there, speed her up a little bit. So this one can be a little bit hard, Honda hairpin or whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see, Flat stick down here in sixth gear, uh, fifth gear, sorry, uh, and keeping all the way over to the left here. Um, so I'm looking, as everyone probably does, for the 150 board. Um, pretty much, you'll see the brakes come on a little bit earlier, but I get hard on the brakes at the 150. So I've just bought my put my foot on the brakes uh, just before, but then really hard on the brakes unintentionally uh, at the 150, and then quite quickly through the gears. Um, a lot of people are staying out here. I it's probably the way to go coming out here and then getting a late entrance into the corner and then just getting a really good run out i've tried it a million times and i shift back to fifth here uh first sorry so i it's probably why i can't do it um i do quite a i'm well, not a late shift but it's a shift back to first anyway so you got that really um low gear rating uh ratio so it tends to want to kick the ass end out so i find when i'm out here and i shift back to first and then i get back on the gas it just wants to bring the ass end around and just wants to really kick it so i had i aim for the middle of the track here uh get all my gear shifting done all the way back down to first and then keeping it nice and tight on the right hand side of the curb here as you'll see coming through here so really hard on the brakes there guys keeping over the left but just starting to trail across to the right there Get my shifting done all the way back down to first, keeping it nice and tight here. So I want to get all the way around that corner, uh, as you'll see here. So as you can see, I'm on the brakes. I'll just show you that again. So all the way on the brakes here, but as I'm trailing off into the corner, really getting that tra trailing off the brakes done and even overlap just a smidgen. People say don't really do that. But midway through the corner there you can see i'm already back on the accelerator. You just want to get back on the accelerator as soon as possible. So coming around, I'm this, I can't sort of overstay it too much. You, you want to stay nice and tight, but don't get hard on the gas too early. This one will shoot you out really wide uh, to the left-hand side of the track, and it'll slow you down significantly. So you want to really get right around the corner completely. I'll just run through it before you get hard on the gas. As you can see, not completely on it yet. Right around, like, see, so almost spotting that end part of the curb there before you get really hard back on the accelerator. Uh, so I probably could have used a bit more of the track out there on the left, but uh, accelerating out of there in second, uh, up into third. Uh, so into this next one, uh, big sweeping left-hander. I'm looking for the end of the, the 
curved there. Not the, this part, it's the end of the black and white part, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, and then shooting more for this part of the track, I don't keep it right out here, I sort of go about here. You want to keep it out a little bit from the curb just so you can get that really good uh, exit out of the corner. So coming in in third, about here, uh, I think it was about there, I shift back to second. Uh, and then stabling the car and then keeping it nice and tight on the left hand side of the curb here. Once again, you're spotting, you want to get this for this corner, you want to get the car completely around the corner. You don't want to be accelerating here, you want to be sort of accelerating more around here. So I am on the accelerator, as you can see, to keep that speed up and to keep the car stable, but you don't want to get harder than that on the accelerator, um, as it, once again, it will shoot you right out to the right hand side of the track uh, and yeah, wash off a shitload of time and possibly eat shit. <laughs> so coming around the corner here, guys, really spotting your exit there before you get on the gas. So you can see it just tightens up a little bit there. That's probably about where you want to start accelerating, getting quite hard back on the gas. All right, so coming through this next section, reasonably straightforward. Uh, so you just want to stick all the way over to the left-hand side. <laughs> Thanks, Paulie. Um, stick over to the left-hand side of the track here and then get a late entrance into this one. So come right around the corner, try to aim for sort of more of this line. Get around. A lot of people are trailing out. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, idiot. <laughs> um, so a lot of people are coming around here really because you flat stick through there as hard as you can go. Uh, a lot of people coming through here and then trying to trail out here and come back around. Once again, uh, for myself, I've just found it's a bit of a slower line and it tends to unstable the car too much for me. Um, yeah, it'll want to sort of four-wheel drift you into that left-hander there. So I'm coming around and then sort of keeping it more here, not right over here, but keeping about a car length out, aiming for about here. Um, the brake mark is sort of really hard to explain. Um, so you can sort of keep an eye on all this stuff. Uh, I sort of have a look at that gravel trap there. Um, so in your point of view, I can see out about here. So once that disappears, I'm getting on the brakes. Um, and then once in, once again in a straight line, this sort of this way, um, but then trailing off. And this is another corner. It comes around here, comes around like that, and then kinks. It's got this little kink here. So I'm aiming out here and then trying to uh, get the car on the... It's sort of hard to explain without... The camera here <laughs> uh so coming around here and then trying to get the, the car on the same angle as what that line runs up the hill if that makes sense uh so i'll run it through here on real time you've already seen it but i'll show you what it looks like Bolly. come through as you can see like see that bit there so i'm aiming to get the car on that angle that exact same angle and then keep it nice and tight on the curb there so we'll run through that again see that one there so yeah, so you're aiming to get the car on that angle and then keep it over on the curb and keep it nice and tight on the curb all the way up there and then just stay on the accelerator to keep it over to the left there. Um, that's about all I can talk you through that one, guys. So from fifth all the way back down to third, so I go fourth, third, bit of a slower sort of um, shift back through the gears for this corner uh, than what I'd probably normally do. Um, but I found it works and yeah, not trailing out there to the right and then coming back to the left sort of works for me as well. As you can see, keeping it nice and tight on the left there in third gear all the way up through here. Now this next one can be very, very tricky as everyone knows. Uh, so coming around, keeping it nice and tight, trying not to drift right out here. You want to keep it no more than a car length out from that left hand side curb. As you can see already on the brakes. So a lot of people are looking for this 50 board and that's, yep, that's my brake marker as well. Um, but I found you're getting on the brakes, that feels like a very early. Even looking at that on the replay, it feels early for me. Uh, but you're not getting on the brakes really hard. You're sort of uh, gradually getting onto the brakes. So the more you come down the hill, as you've got to remember, it's a downhill braking area. So it's, it's going to be hard to pull up. But you, you're getting gradually on the brakes. And then for myself, I'm getting harder and harder and harder down here. And I go back to first gear, guys. So I'm in third gear here. Um, that's my braking marker. So just gradually getting on back on the brakes all the way up to half, just over half on the brakes, even three quarters. <laughs> so back to second, and then I go back to the first there. I was leaving the shift um, down to first about here, but as you can see, you're starting to trail off. So if you shift down to second, uh, first there, 
and you don't get your revs right, it's going to compression lock up and then you're going to lose the asset going into the corner. So getting your shifting done in the straight line and then trailing off into the corner, I keep it mid-track. Don't... You can come over here, obviously, if you're trying to pass someone, which I'd never do, try to pass down here. But these aliens that are really good, uh, they'll probably try to pass down there. But um, I keep it mid-track, get my shifting done in a straight line, and then trailing off into the corner, uh, hitting more of a mid-apex, sort of coming around here, keeping it nice and tight. Jeff actually told me last night he drops a tyre in here sometimes, and that helps to get him around the corner if he's got a lot of speed up. So probably not something I'd, I can try, but yeah, that's what he's doing because he's... One of those bloody crazy people. But anyway, um, I'll come back here. So yeah, getting all your shifting done. Uh, back down to first. Back down to a first about there. And then I'm trailing off around here, getting more of a mid apex. Uh, keeping it nice and tight here. I short shift second here. And then start accelerating out. That's really crucial, that bit. Um, so the getting it back to first for me and then short shifting second and getting the proper run out of there without losing the arse end is crucial for me and the same as a Honda hairpin. This hair, this little hairpin and Honda hairpin, are the way you accelerate and the way you brake are basically the same for, me, for the way I uh, run the track. So coming out of that one, yeah, you want to get a really good run out of that one uh, in second gear. And then I stay sort of more mid-track here just to get more around the corner as much as I possibly can, holding second, uh, keeping it nice and tight here. So this is another one you want to get around before you start accelerating. So I get around and I try to spot this end of the, the curb before I start getting really hard back on the gas. Get, getting on the gas, I short shift. Ooh, come back around here, here we go. So as you can see, half on the accelerator, trying to keep the speed up as much as possible without losing uh, traction. Uh, but getting all the way around and then spotting that, that end of the curve getting back on the gas short shifting i get on the gas but short shift third and that gives you and then i'm just tromping the foot and it just gives you a really good boot out without losing any traction uh using all of the track here guys shooting off to the right here to so setting up this last corner um so what i used to do uh probably a couple of seasons ago i'd come out here try to get the latest apex light latest entrances i could but i'd come out this way get completely off the gas wait for it to trail back across and then back back on the gas so as you can see here this feels quite early and when you when you're doing it in practice it does actually feel quite early so i'm as you can see i'm completely still on the accelerator but i'm starting to turn into the corner so i come in still on the accelerator set my line and then get off the gas as you get off the gas sort of about here um you, and you're not getting completed you go into about half three quarter off the accelerator uh but as you're coming in here and you get off the accelerator it starts to draft, drift you across to the left which is where obviously you want to be uh over on the left hand side curb hugging that as tight as you can until you you see your marker where you want to accelerate and then get back on the gas so as you can see coming off the three quarters there Oh, quite right off there. It didn't actually feel like I was getting off that much. Um, so learning something myself there. So coming across, I'm going to do it again because I'm dribbling shit too much. But um, I think I did that because I came in a little bit hot. So I got off the gas a little bit uh, more than what I usually would. Normally, it'd just come off to about half, uh, trailing over to the left there, hitting the curb and then accelerating out. But uh, yeah, as you can see, coming across, Getting off the accelerator, waiting for the car to come across here to the curb, hugging the curb as tight as possible, and then getting back on the accelerator just ever so gradually until you're all the way around here, and you'll feel it. It's basically at the end of that that little tire wall there. You sort of get around here about even, and you start accelerating quite hard, getting out of that um, last corner there, guys. And that is quite a crucial run, as everyone knows. You really got to get out of there quite hard, otherwise you're uh, in danger of someone passing up the inside into the first corner or even overtaking you down the straight, and then using all the track there once again, uh, coming down the main straight. So uh, that's another track guide, guys. Hope you got something out of it. Um, think about leaving a thumbs up and subscribing, and can't wait to see you this Thursday in the race. Hopefully I won't be starting in the pits. See you guys. Cheers.